I don't <laughs> care about your morning routines. Pull up to the crib right now. We're playing Storm 4. Man, say less. Say What's up, bye? It's your boy, Ken and Brad Knight. Bro, today, we're going to be adding it to one of my boy, Devontae the One. Life as a introverted extrovert. They got me first. Y'all, without further ado, we about to go ahead and get into it. Big Dog Incorporated, how may I Shut help? up. I don't <laughs> care about your morning routines. Pull up to the crib right now. We're playing Storm 4. Man, say less. Say less? <laughs> bruh, that I used to be with the homies, bruh. I don't care what you doing. Get to the house for the people of the game. The party is get the fuck out. <laughs> Extroverts, I really can't say that I'm either or because I excel in both categories. However, comma, one is just harder to maintain than the other. You can go as far as to say, I'm gonna make up a word for it. Omnivert. Wait, is that a word already? Let me look, let me look that shit up real quick. I've been mm -hmm. worn with both of these traits for a majority of my life. That's right. Mm -hmm. I'm a hybrid, baby. And I'm going to show y'all exactly why. Most people that know me or they've talked to me in the past, they said I come off as an extrovert and were shocked when I told them I'm actually more of an introvert. No, baby. I get both of them. People be saying I come up as an introvert and some people say I come up as an extrovert. I guess it really depends on my mood, bruh. I'm just forcing the extrovert side out of me because I have to, which requires me to become social for a certain amount of time. You ever been an introvert at an extroverted job? It'll get your blood boiling. You got to talk to humans. I know. Welcome to Big Dog Eats My... Uh, hold up. Give me a second. <laughs> Welcome, Big Dog. Would you like to <laughs> a new up combo? If not, order when you're ready. I'm telling you, boy, you got to catch me on the right days. Some days, I might be the life of the party. But then other days, you might find me in the corner shooting dice with myself. Don't be coming <laughs> up to my house without telling me beforehand or I'm going to ask you to leave. Like, I guess you could call me a popular loner. I don't know. People get pissed off when they hear that term. They be like, oh, he's a sad, lonely. No, 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 no. We're not sad and lonely. We just enjoy being away from you. When I'm I saying. Call, I tug of war with both of these traits. Daily, I'm not capping. Majority of the time, I bro, like a lot of people really did not understand that I really just like to be in by myself. I just like to be in by myself, like I really did. I just like to be in by myself. A lot of people really just didn't get that. I love staying in my house, but I love doing stuff and going out. However, comma, when I go out and do stuff, my social battery dies fast and i think i finally found out the reason why my introvert side is so much stronger that i get pleasure from being alone thus me being a popular loner like when i'm able to just sit alone and think i get pleasure from that so when you see me deep in thought leave me the fuck alone i'm saying Run. you're ruining it but then at the same time my extroverted side when that small percentage comes out when you see me turning up ain't no <laughs> standing around you might as well turn up with me because i got a time limit we don't have long before i'm ready to go to the crib all this courage i built up to dance in front of people or be loud in front of people and be myself or just to get to know somebody when i really don't feel like getting to know somebody cannot be in vain because i'm the type of person where if i go to a party depending on what timing I'm on, I'll act accordingly. If I know you like talking and you're a social butterfly, I'm going to use you as a social shield so I won't have to talk to people. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I get real selfish when I'm on my introvert timing. Like, even if we're close friends, don't call me 24-7 expecting me to pick up and give you 120% of my energy 25-8 at a time. I'm saying. That type of timing, I get annoyed really fast. If we haven't talked in months, I'm perfectly fine with that. The only three people that should be calling me 24-7 are me, myself, and I. I'm like, saying. I somebody and your social battery just dies mid conversation that happens to me all the time like i don't care if i was talking to kanye my battery's gonna die mid conversation unless i'm on my extroverted timing where i have to force myself to raise my energy so i can talk to any and everything that moves i was at a family barbecue the other day 
I was looking down at my phone for majority of the time, but at the same time, I was looking out of my peripherals and I seen my grandmas, my aunties, and my granddads, and my uncles all looking at me for whatever reason. Like I'm supposed to turn up the party or something. Like my nigga, get off my testicles. And then they try to do like small talk and shit. I hate <laughs> small talk, bruh. I'd rather you hit me with some deep conversations or just an interesting topic, like how puppies can read our minds or some shit. <laughs> Man, well, how was your day? Uh, what you doing uh, lately? Nigga, we, we ask the same questions every time we go to family dinners. When can we talk about uh, spaceships or something? Or going to the... I think I'm ranting at this point. <laughs> I can recall a lot of times when I used to live with my parents and people would come over and I'm in my room and I was having the time of my life by myself and I wanted something to eat or drink and I had to go through. See, bro, I, I swear a lot of people ain't gonna, get, ain't gonna get it. But when you are an only child, you master the art of being an introvert. You you really don't be having no choice. Especially when you lived out in the country, you really don't be having no choice through the living room just to go get that exact thing and i knew if i made my presence known i would have to interact it wasn't because i was shy it was because of the small talk that i knew was coming mm -hmm. i'm telling y'all i really hate small talk it's so bad to the point where i remember this one time i walked out of my house and i was about to go to my car right i see my neighbor she walks out of her car i'm like oh shoot. i already know she's gonna talk to me and try to get small talk out of me let me go ahead and walk my ass back in the house like y'all ever done that before i know i'm not the only one that does that come on now speaking of talking i'm very dangerous when it comes to my introvert side i pay attention to everything so that means i can figure you out just by listening and watching i will sit there shut up and listen to you talk while you tell me everything about yourself and at the end of this conversation i'm gonna know everything about you and you will know nothing about me why because i sat down and i listened now if somebody catches me on my extrovert timing i'm gonna do exactly the opposite of what i just said i get too comfortable and then i yap 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 <laughs> for as long as you want me to as much as you'll let me and then i start over sharing things and then i realize to myself after this conversation that dang Maybe I shouldn't have opened my mouth in the first place. A couple days ago, I went on my Instagram and I did a poll on my story just to see if y'all were introverts or extroverts, just to find out that a lot of y'all were the thin line between, just like me. And you know what? <laughs> I know I wasn't the only one. <laughs> mm -hmm. My people. Mm -hmm. oh! Hey. That picture fire. That picture fire. Bruh, I would love somebody to drew me, bruh. Like an anime character like that. I would love that. But y'all, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Comment down below what y'all wanna see. And we out, boy. I know what to get, all the latest